here with Harding coach Patrick McGahey. The Bisons pull out a big one in uh, game number two after losing the opener 7-4. to four. When uh, Chase Presley reached first with no outs, uh, what, was, what was the plan there? And tell me how Billy executed that. Well, we had already talked, uh, you know, Coach uh, Tenhouse and I uh, before the top, before, you know, our at bat in that inning. And we uh, felt like if we bunted, they'd walk nappy. And uh, Billy is just a really good hit and run guy. You know, he, he handles the bat well. He's, his swing is kind of geared that way anyway. And so we felt like uh, that was a higher percentage play than the steal at that point. And, you know, Billy, uh, he, he just did a great job with it. It worked to perfection uh, with Chase Presley barely getting out of the way of the ground ball. Yeah, I was afraid they were going to call that having uh, touched them, but, yeah. yeah, it was close. And then they walked Nappy yep. to load the bases, and uh, one out later, um, McCarver's at the plate. What do you tell him going going to the dish with two outfielders out there? All right. Well, during our BP, uh, you know, in practice, we have a – have a round that, that's a big four round where we, we execute bunts and hit and runs and score them and, uh, you know, infield in, score them, so like that situation where you're just trying to lift a pitch, make sure you don't hit a line drive at, a, at an infielder, make sure you don't hit into a double play. And uh, so, you know, I just told him, hey, big four drill, just, you know, give me a five ball and let's win this thing. And uh, Chase Presley, the runner at third, uh, you know, there's a, I guess, maybe a tendency not to run full speed on that, but he... He needed every uh, every ounce of his speed to get yeah, home on he that. Did. And uh, you know it was close. They made it close, but uh, you know clearly safe. And uh, it was a good job of, of just battling all day. You know we were behind all day, and they fought back in the first yeah. game, fought back in the second one. Just, just good job. How about Donnie Stevens coming in out of the pen, getting out of that inning where they ha they had the bases loaded with no outs and didn't score. Right. Yeah. Brody did a great job of getting us that first out, and then Donnie came in and shut the door and. You know, Donnie had, had thought about leaving last year because he, he was done with school and he had one year eligibility and, and he decided to come back. And so when he took the mound there, I just said, hey, this is why he came back. And, yeah. uh, he did a great job. Well, a great win for the Bisons. Uh, and tomorrow go for the first series victory against SAU since we joined the Gulf South Conference. Well, that'd be great. We're going to try and get it done. Congratulations on the win. Thank Scott Good here with Aaron McCarver. Aaron, bases loaded, bottom of the eighth inning, one out. You got to put the ball in play and and preferably in the air, and you did just that. Talk about what your approach was on that on that at bat. Well, the whole game the wind had been kind of blown crosswind straight in, but uh, they brought in five infielders, so you, know, you, you kind of had to change your approach. You couldn't really hit it up the middle, so I just think it's something up in the air, try to get it to the outfield, and give our runner a chance to score. A tough loss in game number one. Uh, they. Uh, scored three in the ninth inning. How big is it to come back in game number two, especially against a team like Southern Arkansas, and pick up a win in the second game of the series? Oh, it's huge because I mean, now we've actually got some momentum going into tomorrow, and it'll be it'll be good for us. Uh, behind the plate uh, today, when the when the winds are like this, uh, does it change your approach uh, catching the Harding pitchers? Does it change your your uh, pitch calling, anything like that? Uh, not really. Sometimes the pitchers will move more than than without the win, but today it wasn't that bad. Yeah. All right, congratulations on the game-winning sacrifice fly, and uh, good luck tomorrow in game three of the series.